up everybody, Well, Lady Shorty here, and before today's video officially starts, I have some Mystic 7 merch news very quickly. There actually are some brand new Halloween designs up in the merch shop that will only be there for the next couple of days, and they will never, ever return. So make sure to cop those while you can. Again, the link is in the description for the Mystic 7 Halloween Limited Edition merch on the merch shop. Now, please, enjoy today's video. Five, come on, come on, four, three, oh queen, please. What is up guys, White Legging here, and today we're playing with a brand new Clash of Clans update. Oh my throat, and as you can see, storming into the middle, as always, we've got the brand new troops in Clash of Clans, which I, I mean, I, I'm a little bit behind, I know this came out a couple days ago, I was traveling when this came out, so now we're finally getting to it, and it is, as you guys probably all know, we've got special troop number one, the Pumpkin Barbarian, which is a barbarian with a little bit of a, a helmet on, so when he gets shot, that helmet, it's like, it's like a shield, it's like a little shield on him, which is gonna be, it's gonna be fun, and he looks dope, because he's got a, he's got a jack-o'-lantern head, dude, that's lit. And we also have the giant skeleton brought over from Clash Royale to Clash of Clans, and uh, this guy is kind of a beast. Now, I have not seen either of these troops used in a raid before I obviously have not used them myself and I don't really know what strategy to use with them so I kind of just threw together a hundred barbs and then seven giant skeletons with uh, two rage three jumps and a poison so we're gonna see how this goes I have no clue what the outcome of this raid is gonna be but we're gonna be testing out trying out these brand new troops up in the champions one league because again we are moving back up towards the Titans League and then hopefully one day towards the Legends League once again Titans League is at 4100 so we're we're kind of far off so I definitely want to get out there and get some trophies get some loot because we are still trying to farm the base up but most importantly test out these new guys so I'm gonna be right back when we find uh find raid number one I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm kind of liking this base right here this is a good starting this is a good test base because although there's a lot of compartments and we do have a lot of little troops we do have the jump spells and uh this is definitely an easier base especially since this will be the first time I'm using this um uh, not even this is not a an attack strategy by any means but these troops first time I'm using these troops I forgot to put the warden on ground that's gonna be problematic but we're gonna attack from this left side because the multi-target inferno is up here and then uh, we don't really have actually and the eagle artillery is right here so we can kind of get closer to that so let's start off with how how do these guys look what do they do they target defenses I don't even know how they work well we're gonna throw them in and we're gonna get a bunch of barbarians slamming in behind these guys and let's go with two jump spells right there let's drop the poison on these guys on these troops and then we'll get the barbarians continuously coming in now let's get the king queen and the grand warden coming in right here and then we're gonna go with more barbarians which kind of spam these guys in and uh, i want to go in and look how what do these guys what do they do what do they, all these troops do i have no idea you know what, hold on what's warden special ability we're gonna keep all these guys safe right here i'm gonna drop a jump spell right there which should get things towards the middle and then we'll do the rage spell you know what we're gonna rage spell up uh, on this side of the playing field while hey all right now we're gonna drop the rest of the barbarians going right towards the middle i don't really know where my heroes are at the moment okay no actually you know what i see them all right barbs are in the giant skeletons oh oh god well, i used the queen's ability but i thought it was the warden that was dying but it was the queen oh my goodness well we got the barbs going in the middle let's see these guys they look they look beast if i use the king's ability okay does it does it rage him up i don't even know king's ability used that was probably a waste as well well 43 percent we're definitely moving through this base uh, I wasted both the King's and Queen's special abilities, so I'm not really expecting much out of this attack uh, past what we already have. Can the King beat the Queen? Yes, he can! Nice, my guy. And the Queen over here is about to go down because I prematurely used her ability, and uh, that was completely my bad. But that was an attack. That was a hectic attack. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't see what any of those troops did. Um, so we're going to, we're going to, we got to test these out differently. But there's that. Let's end battle. See what we got here. We got, oh, I should have let the, what am I doing? There was a Barbarian destroying this piece of thing right here we would have had the 50 percent i suck i suck that was attack number one a rusty one we're gonna do better with the second i promise okay we're gonna take edgar right here and actually i want to see exactly what these troops do and what they look like when they go in and attack oh boy we got a war base here okay so now let's see the barbarian let's send the barbarian in against a couple of different defenses to see kind of like what he does how he looks we're gonna go one right here let's see he gets shot up oh, and the helmet goes off nice okay that's pretty good how about against the archer tower right here Gonna run in the archer tower snipes that off and then it's a regular barbarian that's pretty good honestly again it gives them like a little bit of extra tank okay cool now what happens when we throw in the giant skeleton i'm assuming the giant skeleton targets defenses yes he does okay if we throw him on this side definitely has a ton of health this guy goes off here we'll put some uh put some barbarians in behind just kind of see what what's up what they look like they definitely <laughs> i love the way these guys look and uh, we'll go more giant skeletons whatever we'll just we'll just like half attack this base um i just i kind of want to see what happens when he dies though does he drop a bomb is that what happens? Let's see. Somebody, somebody, one of these skeletons need to die right now. Like, I, I love y'all. Thank you guys for coming out, but one of you guys got to go down. Okay, let's see. Right here. This skeleton is about to go down. Um, I'm going to have a rage right here. I don't know why I'm attacking this base, but let's see. 
Will he explode? What happens to the giant skeleton when he dies? Somebody, somebody kill a giant skeleton. There's two almost dead right now. One's about to go down right there. Um, does he just... Oh, my gosh. Okay, yes, he does. <laughs> he does drop a bomb. Okay, interesting. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, again, still kind of, like, attacking this base. Still not sure why. This is the attack strategy that we're going to be using uh, next attack, by the way. But, I mean, I guess... We're already messing around with it, right? Might as well just kind of go in. I was about to say, wow, we're about to three-star this without even trying. And then I realized this is a Town Hall 9, and I'm a Town Hall 11. If, if we didn't three-star this, I really sucked. Well, actually, we're not going to... Oh, what a giant bomb placement that... <gasps> okay, I'm going to leave. <laughs> that's that's the new troops. That's what they look like. That's how they attack. Okay, I was personally curious about that because, again, I haven't seen him. So now that we know, we're going to get a real strategy. We're going to be right back with a real attack. Okay, guys, we got Kale Jacob here, and he's got... Over a million loot with 20 trophies, so I'm very down for this attack. Also, we have 14 uh, pumpkin barbarians, 5 giant skeletons, 4 wall breakers, 8 wizards, 2 pekkas, 3 witches, a clan castle with wizards and archers, I want to say, and then uh, I have my warden on ground. So we're going to find a way to pick this base apart and attack it while maximizing as much loot as we possibly can. And I think that's going in on this left side now. I want to go on this left side for two main reasons. One main reason, the town hall and the eagle artillery are on this side. Closer to this side, anyways, and uh, the loot's looking good over here, too. So let's kind of, uh, let's get this going. We're going to start off by funneling. Actually, now this guy is a silly goose because he doesn't have anything guarding the corner buildings here. So we're going to use these wizards on the edges just to get those buildings out of the way so that they're not, our troops in general aren't distracted when moving towards the middle uh, because that is always a thing. You always want to have a good funnel when using ground, well, ground and air, really. I mean, more importantly, ground troops just because ground troops absolutely love nothing more than to run the wrong way. Um, so it's definitely nice having uh, a funnel going with it. Now let's get the Pekka's in. Okay, now it's time for the, the full attack. Charge! And we'll get some barbs going in as well. And then we have one wall compartment open. Let's get this one open right here uh, to help these giant skeletons. Okay, the giant skeletons are in. Oh, shoot. Actually, you know what? Everything's going the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. We have a humongous cluster. <laughs> the, all the good troops are going the wrong way. Well, I'm going to use the warden special ability. Uh, not really for any good reason, just because... Um, you know what, I probably should have saved that considering nothing is going towards the middle of this base right now, which is a very large problem. Oh uh, boy. Okay, guys, well, let's just throw a raid spell right here. <laughs> We're going to rage up the giant skeletons and then our witches as well. And hopefully the queen can do something because she's not looking like she's doing too hot. I'm going to throw a rage right there, which is actually going to go to waste. I don't know what I'm doing right now, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm going to free spell the eagle artillery and the air sweeper for no good reason. I think I missed the king's ability. We've got two pegasus going in. The queen is now taking out this town hall. This was a... Terrible attack. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what happens when uh, you're used to air attacking and then you do a spammy ground attack. I kind of just threw everything in and hope that it did something. Well, for a face roll, throw everything in and hope it does something attack. We did get 57% two stars and we actually got quite a bit of loot out of this base as well. So we're going to end this here. And uh, it's looking like we got a total of 57%, actually with 400,000 gold, 300,000 elixir, and about 1,000 dark elixir. We also ended up getting a 13 trophy gain on that uh, on that attack right there. So I'm down for that. We've got the next army ready and trained up. We're going all skeletons, all spooky skeletons with this next attack, which I'm excited for. Now, the thing that I want to talk about, just mention that I really, really like that they did. Everyone get, well, not everyone, but like I have at least maxed out giant skeleton and maxed out barbarian. Now, I think that depends on the level of, I'm assuming the giant skeleton is the same thing as the giant and obviously the barbarians are the same so it's nice that we didn't have to like unlock and, and upgrade and spend gems on these troops they're just halloween exclusive so these troops will disappear after halloween is over and the event lasts a total of another four days also we are working on getting our trick-or-treat event uh attacks done right here and we're probably gonna knock out the giant skeleton one first and then we'll do the barbarian one but we got the next army ready which is an old skeleton attack and this will be the final attack of the video and then we're gonna go do uh the comment question of the day we're actually doing that today so hopefully with this attack we should be able to break 3900 trophies on our way to that 4100 goal so let's go grab that wow we found cardasia here and cardasia's got 600,000 gold 500,000 elixir and 4100 dark elixir this is a massive dead base and we do have the all skeleton army ready to attack now it's looking like i'm either gonna attack from the top left for the dark elixir and elixir or the bottom left for the gold now i'm now i'm really stuck on that if we go top left we can go towards the eagle artillery right away too you know what we're gonna go to the top left yeah that's happening okay now how to take this base out let's see we've got seven big nasty giant skeletons they're gonna go in let's get the witches coming in behind i'm gonna also get the king right here and the queen and the warden and uh, we're going to do two wall breakers on each side. Hopefully they make it to that. Uh, yes. All right, nice. Walls are open, boys. Okay, sweet. Now, we're going to do a jump spell right here. And then a jump spell right 
ear. That was a waste. That was a massive waste. I don't know why I just did that. Whatever. The jump spells are in. We've got the barbarians going in right here. We've got a couple of them, and they're going to rock this. Now the king is getting smacked up. We're going to use king special ability, and now we are in the middle of the base right here. Awesome. We're actually doing pretty great, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of debating on when I want to use this. Oh, boy. That was kind of a bad. That was a bad range spell. You know what? We're going to freeze the queen. We're going to freeze that Tesla. That was a bad freeze spell. Where is my Grand Warden? It's not in yet. Uh-oh. Well, that's a problem. Let me, let me throw that down. Also, I do have the um, the balloons I haven't used yet. Now, unfortunately, all our troops looking like they went towards the top of the base, which isn't the worst thing in the world. I just would much rather have them... You know what? Ward special ability just to keep the king alive a little bit more. I would much rather have had the troops go towards the bottom just because of all this gold. Um, but I'm going to do two balloons here, two balloons there, and then we're going to save the other two balloons. So these guys are going to help. These defenses kind of... Not the defenses. Our troops take out all the rest of this. We do still have the clan council troops. We're going to very, very strategically... And slowly but surely try to pick this base apart. We do have the giant skeletons. Uh, one is like half health and one is pretty much dead. So we're not looking phenomenal for the rest of this raid. But I think we can definitely do at least a little bit more damage before we end up tapping out of this. Now let's do two balloons actually right here. We're just going to take out that wizard tower and should be able to take out either another wizard tower or the bomb tower. And we still do have clan castle troops. I don't know what's in my clan castle but I'm definitely going to use it. Uh, I'm not sure when though. Oh yeah, you know what? Actually, watch this. Watch this, Tesla. Yeah, kill him, Tesla. I dare you. I dare you. Ah, oh, you played yourself. Bam. Nice, dude. That does a lot of damage. Okay, you know what? Clan Castle's going in. Oh god, is it just loons? Oh boy. Okay. Well, we have all balloons. We have a couple more defenses, and it's looking like us. We might be able to pull out the three star right here, the 100. I'm gonna throw this poison spell down on that cannon because screw that cannon. Uh, it's not really gonna do anything, but you know what's gonna. It's going to maybe scare him. I don't know. We have the Queen Special Ability. We have 27 seconds left to knock out the rest of these buildings. I'm going to use our ability in a couple seconds. You know, right now, using the ability, we've got 20 seconds to get the three-star, guys. We are so freaking close to it. We're not going to get it because there's going to be storages left over. Oh, my gosh. Balloons. Wait, wait. Come on. Balloons have the clutch up. Queen now has to clutch up. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, guys. Come on. 9, 8. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be close. 6, 5. Come on. Come on. 4, 3. Oh, Queen. Please. Please. God. No. No. <laughs> You gotta be joking! Oh my god, at least we got all the loot in that raid. That's the one great part about this. But you have to be sh kidding me that that just happened. Wow, look at the queen just staring down this dark spell factory with like 2 HP left on it. If it, oh, if it was in range of those archers, we would have had that win easy. Oh, that is wretched. Well, GG to that base. We actually got our star bonus there too. So we got a ton of loot out of that and we are back up in Champions League 1. Uh, we're still below 3,900 because I took some defenses. Obviously, I've changed clothes because it's been a minute since last clip and I'm very, very overexposed. The face cam, my face cam sucks, by the way. Now let's, uh, let's answer today's common question of the day. And today's common question of the day comes from Valor7. Pika Mali, and the question is, will you ever do a Clash Royale video? Now, normally the answer would be, heck no, but I have been dabbling sort of recently in Clash Royale with some of my friends, and I know that Clash Royale has kind of a big update coming out in the next couple of days, if not today or tomorrow. I gotta check in on that, and I might actually do a Clash Royale video. I hate the game, you guys know. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the game, not because it's a bad game. It's a great game. I suck at it and I just I can never get that game down and I'm horrible and that's why I hate it again it's, it's a good game I just suck so we're gonna try <laughs> maybe one Clash Royale video one Clash Royale Halloween update video uh this week and if it's if it works you know what it's either way we're gonna either rage or we're gonna have fun it's going up on YouTube and if I do end up recording that yes I will be doing a Clash Clans video hopefully pretty soon here but that's uh <laughs> that's that that's today's comment question they some of you guys might be excited about that because i got a lot of comments saying please play some clash royale i get comments tweets so we'll play a little bit of clash royale this week how about that but that was today's comment question of the day and today's video today's very very skeleton filled video if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are enjoying this update make sure to leave a like leave your comment question of the day down in the comments below and also tell me how you guys are liking the update have you guys completed your challenges because i'm very very far off and i only have three days to do it and this is gonna be a busy three days in my life so we're gonna we're gonna get this going but that's today's video if you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the next one love you guys peace out the pretty girls in class still they never reply but never say never they never get caught on my mind i'm trying to get better and grind measure my effort and skill gets better in time fresher than ever and i am who i am no taking it back i'm alive and well